Hello, my name is Debbie and I am from the San Mateo County Libraries. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of the website thingiverse.com. If you've been interested in utilizing our 3D printing service at our libraries and you don't know where to start, Thingiverse is a great place to find a 3D model that you may want to print. So let's take a look. So first of all, we're going to type in thingiverse.com and that is spelled T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E dot com. And here's the website. So what is Thingiverse? Uh, it's basically a huge community of makers and tinkerers who share their 3D models. These designers will share their own original models or they may have remixed existing ones. And you can find almost anything here, whether it's a simple toy, a phone case, or an anatomically correct human brain, it's probably here. Just as a side story, I once found a 3D model of a replacement game piece for my nephew's board game on Thingiverse. I printed it at the library and I gave it to my nephew so that we can play the game again. So that was pretty neat. So let's just try to find something. Um, and I'm gonna go to this search bar at the very top. And uh, for example, I like cookies. So I'm gonna type in cookie. And look at that, it's a whole bunch of cookie related uh, 3D models, most of them being cookie cutters, which is pretty amazing because there's a lot of designs for cookie cutters. Oh my gosh, so many designs and I could look at this all day and see all the different designs, but um, I'm actually gonna check out this snowman cookie cutter because it looks pretty fun and cute. And let me just show you a, a little tour of, uh, you know, the model website, the web uh, page, where you can look at the different photos that the, uh, uh, the designer uh, uploaded. And this is a 3D model that they submitted. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. This, I feel like, is a very important section. Uh, first of all, we'll go over thing details, which is where the 3D designer will talk about their project, you know, usually like why they made it. And um, also they sometimes will give information that might be useful to you of like how long it took to print and what kind of filament they used and whatnot. So this is a handy place to find out more about the 3D model. Thing files, I'm gonna um, skip for now, but we'll come back to it later. Comments, I actually like to go to, um, to make sure that the 3D model is going to be a successful print. Um, so I'll usually read comments and see what they thought. Like, did they say they had trouble printing it? Or did they say it, it printed great? Like for example, this one, just made one, is the third print on my printer ever, so I'm still learning, and it worked sol solidly. So this is a great print, uh, it looks like, and so I think I might want to print this one. Um, also here, when you look at makes, this shows the community that has printed this design and, and showed their result. So this is also a good way to see whether this print is going to be a successful print for you. Some of them even show their final cookie, which is pretty fun. Remixes is another section um, where you can find uh, these models, you know, maybe tweaked a little bit. For example, if I wanted to remix this snowman uh, cookie cutter because I really want a hat on there, um, I could potentially take this file, um, put it into my 3D modeling software, and then add a hat to it. And then what I can do is upload it and also show that it's a remix of this original design. So you can kind of see like either tweaks or improvements in the remix section. And over here on the top in the, in the right side column, these are options you can do when you have signed up for a Thingiverse account. So up in the right corner, if you want a Thingiverse account, you can sign up right here. And um, so if you want to create an account, you can save projects, you can comment on them, you can like them, and you can even share your own 3D models with the community as well. So I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to go back to thing files because now I've decided that I really do want this, uh, I want to print this cookie cutter. So thing files is where I can find the 3D model .stl file. 
And all I have to do is just click on download it. And now I have the file and I'm ready to go to the next step for 3D printing at the library. So um, when you do browse Thingiverse, just keep in mind that not everything on Thingiverse can be printed on our 3D printers at San Mateo County Libraries. Some of the more complicated or more delicate designs might not print successfully, uh, but we can always help you find a design that will. So thank you for joining me on this quick tour of Thingiverse, and we hope to see your 3D prints at the library soon. Bye-bye.